know what I mean? And I used to tell myself that. I, to this day, I still tell people, you ain't addicted, bro. Come on, come on. You ain't addicted, man. Just if you stand on the word of God, you, you, you be able on, to now. look at God. But it was my Goliath. Yes. And it wasn't until I walked to the brook one day and I picked up five stones and I grabbed the one that I thought was going to be the most painful. And I put that stone into my sling and I swung it around and I flung it at that addiction. And that addiction got hit right in the forehead and it fell straight to the right straight to the ground. And ever since that day, I never once picked up another cigarette again. Why? Because God brought it out. You see, I don't come against these things by my own power, but I come against it by the power of God, which is in the next verse where he says, and David said to the Philistine, you come against me with the sword and the spear and the javelin, but I, I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. And on this day, on this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. And this day, I will give the car your carcass to the Philistine army and the birds and the wild and animals, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. I said, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. All those gathered, 47, all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or by spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, not mine. The battle is the Lord's. And he will give all of you into our hands. 49, and reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, and he fell face down in the ground. And what happened? David went and cut his head off and says, God has been the champion here today. Not me, not by my power, not by my power, not by my mind, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Because I have come against you by the power of God. So it didn't take a stone, or it didn't take a, a javelin, or a sword, or, or, or a gun, or a knife, or anything else like this. But it took a simple stone. But because by faith, by faith, faith is the evidence of things, of things not seen. Yeah. The evidence of things hoped for. Yeah. Faith. By faith, he took this stone. And he flung it, and the Holy Spirit guided it from that point, and it did what it was supposed to do. How many here have a Goliath in their life right now? Yeah. Pick your hand up. Major hand goes up. Pick your hand up. If you got a Goliath that's in your in your life right now, pick your hand up. Every time this devil or this Goliath makes fun of you, every time this Goliath talks about you behind your back, yeah. every time this Goliath puts you down because you're serving God. Come on. Every, every time this Goliath tries to make fun of you because of the way you dress, because of the way you talk, because of the way you act, or every time this addiction tells you you need one more, oh, just one more hit. Every time this addiction says, oh, just one more drag, oh, just do one more line, just smoke one more rock, and then you can quit. Just one more. I want you to get that stone. I want you to carry it with you everywhere you go. And these stones, my friends, are anointed. And every time these things try to come against you, every time cancer tries to battle you, every time something tries to come against your body physically, every time somebody tries to come against you physically, you pick up that stone and you say, uh-uh, not by my power, not by my but by my spirit says the Lord thy God and you defeat your life every time somebody tries to defeat you because you serve God you take your stone don't tell Adam no, you better give me the money. like oh yeah in the name of Jesus no it's not like that I mean it's spirit you hold the stone in your hand and I want you to defeat your Goliath 
Take it out and go against the thing that is trying to hinder you. Take it out and go against the thing that is trying to come against your family. Take it out and, 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 and dislew the, 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 the giant that is trying to defeat you or take you out as it would be right here in the front. Take it out and hold it and start praying. And I promise you, with your faith and with the power of God, you will defeat anything and anyone that tries to come against you. Man, I tell you what, man, I, I've seen some things that will make your mind just flip out. We were at a church service when I was a kid, and, and I remember that the, the, all the leaders got in front of this lady. She used to, she, she walked, she did this number here. That's how she walked. We'd always be kids. We just thought it was just because she was, you know, that's just how she walked. She had one leg that was shorter than the other. You remember her? One leg that was shorter than the other. They sat her down in the front pew. And then she put both of her feet out in front of her. And it was it was more like this. Okay? And both feet or legs were completely extended. And the leaders all got together and they started praying. My, my dad and all the leaders, they started praying and saying, in the name of Jesus, you know, and, and we're, you know, kids, we're just watching as we're going, what's going to happen? And I promise you, God is my witness standing before me right now. I watched that lady's leg grow. Yes. I said, I watched that lady's leg grow. Yes. And she stood up straight up and down. Woo. Not by my power, not by his power, but by the power of the Almighty God. Yes. Yes. Not by the things that I said can happen, but by what I know God says can happen. Yeah. See, I read the back of the book. And I don't know if anybody read the back of the book here, but I read the back of the book. And you know what it said? It said, we win. Yeah. I said, it says we win. Yeah. Not the devil wins. Not the devil's going to do this. Not the, no, 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 no. Because anybody knows you can look at a story, but it, all that matters is what happens at the end. It's not how you start the race, but how you finish. Willful sin. You know it's wrong, but you did it anyway. God says that's the unforgivable sin. Why? Because you know better. Man, we're not children. We're not. We know better. We know right from wrong, left from right, up from down. But you still choose to do the wrong thing. Depart from me, he who works iniquity. It's not how you start the race, but how you finish the race. I can start strong. I could start at seven years old. I could have, you know, I could have started prophesying and then look at it. I fall down when I'm 36 and don't get back up. What do you think is going to happen? They're going to look at you and they're going to be like, yeah, that was cool, man. That's, that's what's up. Good job. But uh, you got to go. I got no room up here. I got no room up here. So it's not how you start the race. It's how you finish. How many know if you walk down the street and you trip and fall over a rock or we'll call it a stumbling block? How many know if you walk down the street and you trip over a stumbling block and you fall and land flat on your face? How many of you know that you're not going to stay laid there? No. No. I know I ain't. I'm going to look up. Did you see that? Crazy little rock. I didn't even see it there. I was walking the gear. You're going to pick yourself up. You're going to dust yourself up. And you're going to say, oh, whew. How many know God wants you to do that the same way in the spiritual life? Yeah. Yeah. He says, if you're walking down the road of righteousness, down the path of righteousness, and you slip, slip and fall over a stumbling block, he says, you better pick yourself back up and ask for forgiveness. Yeah. 
You better pick yourself back up. Brush yourself off and say, God, forgive me in Jesus' name. It was a stumbling block. It had me, but I let it go now. And I'm picking myself up. And I'm taking back up my cross. And I'm going back to where you told me to go. I'm going to go to where you told me to walk. I'm going to preach where you told me to preach. I'm going to lay hands on who you told me to lay hands on. Because I am a... But how do you finish the race? It doesn't matter what it looks like. 